Don't I finish? No. There you go. Hey! Hello, everyone! We're back from Geeshi Promotion. This is Chris. I'm Ruth Ann, and we have a special guest. Me! Me, oh, Buddy Buddy! Yay! Hi, everybody! Oh, we're so excited. So, we're uh, at ALA, uh, live from the Comic Con Revolution booth. We're trying to get up on uh, Comic Con Revolution's page as well, but we're super stoked. Oh, I um, got it! Let me just see if I can fix uh, this other one really quick. Um, yeah, hopefully they'll just catch up on that. <laughs> Your phone just loves to get more. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if it's because you are the hot spot. I'm the hot spot. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, if anything, we have a uh, Comic Con Revolution tag, so hopefully we can share it again on uh, their Facebook page as well. So, uh, and if those who don't know that are worried about me, I'm okay. I was rear ended on the way to. Uh, this convention yesterday. Uh, I'm on a lot of pain medication and a muscle relaxer. So she's feeling great. I'm feeling great. It's gonna be, yeah, we didn't need whiskey this time. I'm on, I'm on pain. I'm on pain uh, medication, so we need. We need I need the whiskey. whiskey. I know, right? Hello. Yeah, usually, well, we couldn't on uh, because the show doesn't have uh, alcohol, but we usually always have whiskey or martinis or something while we're uh, nerd raging. Next time. Yes, next, next time. time. So let's start off with uh, I know and I feel bad because I kind of talked about it a little bit on Ruse Day Tuesday uh, this past week, but we're really frustrated with the Flash right now. Yes, like it's just are. absolutely silly because they they do these things right where I get it it's superheroes, but they don't explain why something works. So all of a sudden uh, during this like important scene, um, Iris was about to like divulge the secret of who the Flash was so that like he didn't have to go to jail. So. And so as soon as she gets up, yeah, right. Spoilers. 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 Sorry, guys. So, but as you know, it was two Iris weeks ago. Really, it was two weeks ago. <laughs> so, um, all of a sudden, like Barry uses the flash powers and like runs around her, and for some reason, it stops time, and only they are like chatting with each other. And she, Iris, even goes like, "How are you doing this?" She goes, "I don't know." Anyways, I don't know. I'm Flash. I'm Flash. Is where it Yes, please go for it. Um, so, I, I mean, Iris in general is so, so, so frustrating. And no then, one likes her. Yeah, and so no this, and this next episode, in this, or this latest one last week. Okay, so first of all, the ending of that yeah. episode, okay? Oh, we're live now on uh, Yay! Comic Con Revolution page. Hello! Uh, if, you, if you missed it, uh, we are Geek Chic Promotions. We're coming out of uh, the uh, anime Los Angeles uh, live from the Comic Con Revolution booth. Yes, this is Chris. I'm Ruthann. I'm Bonnie. And she's our special guest. You know her from so many things. I'm special. Like, yes, you are. Library of Art. She's a voiceover actress for so many amazing things. And she's just, she's the best person to hang out with. I should just she's have you, her. like, come me everywhere. I'm going to be a hype girl all the time. Excellent. <laughs> uh, so we're talking, we're getting a little frustrated about The Flash, so we're going to nerd rage a little bit about The Flash. So yes. go on. So, last, so this past week's episode. So this past week's episode was a little bit frustrating because they dealt with um, a villain. I'm not going to, like, have spoilers here because I know it literally just came on, like, a day or two ago. So the villain, though, creates, this is not a spoiler, he creates an acid that can pretty much burn through anything, right? And so it causes everybody to question their lives, okay? The thing is, <laughs> is that... Right. Hi, Brandon, I see that you haven't watched this week's episode. Don't worry, we're not, we're not Don't worry, we're, we're not just spoiling frustrated anything. With it. We're not spoiling anything. The issue that I have, and when you watch the episode, please feel free to hit us back and be like, agree, yeah, disagree. Jump, yeah. Okay, but when you squirt acid, is it not supposed to burn through everything? Yeah, right? Right? It doesn't. Again, define stuff. It like comes down and it hits the floor and it hits chairs. It burns the people and it doesn't burn the chair. It doesn't burn anything. Maybe it only burns organic. Yeah, it's very picky about who it burns. Well, it burns like the super suits. Oh, I so, don't know, like, man. to me, that was know. just like, what the hell, guys? It's like, that's a simple, simple thing. Yeah. Like, I, I feel, and that doesn't spoil what happens in the episode, guys. No, it's, it's just, just like a random well, thing. And again, like, that just I'm define like. what things are. Yeah. Like, define people's powers. Define, like, or what. explain it. Or just explain like, it. Just something. Because, like, I'm a big girl. Like, if you just tell me how a power works, cool, cool beans. Yes. Like, that's fine. 
I'm not caught up, so I'm just as lost as you guys. That's I'm trying okay. to be like, oh gosh, that, okay. this is going to be horrible. Yeah, what Ruthann was talking about the last one is that there was a photo. There's a behind the scenes <laughs> photo behind the scenes that photo. I'm so concerned about. I don't know if you guys saw this. Uh, we don't have our setup right now, so later on we'll comment with it. There's this photo behind the scenes of Iris wearing a black costume that's very similar to Jesse's, the Speedster's costume, but it's all black. Uh -oh. Does Iris have powers now? No. Maybe she just no. likes to get dressed up in leather. You don't know. <laughs> I, sometimes I like to throw in a little leather cat suit and go running yeah. around. I don't need to be, you know, I don't have also, powers. I swear to God, if there's yet another Speedster added to the show, I'm out. Oh my gosh. I'm out. We had some funny comments about the uh, uh, about the chair situation uh, you were talking about, where uh, uh, Brandon says, "Yeah, what was that chair made of that they didn't that like didn't melt?" Burn? Yeah, and uh, Marcus says those chairs were probably rentals. Hashtag line budget. We'll play. We'll play. <laughs> it's true. It's totally true. It's, it's totally true. true. They, didn't, they ran out of budget. They couldn't destroy the chairs. So yeah. Oh man, these chairs got to be used for like the entire season. Yeah. Yeah. So this, this true. the whole thing between between the character work on the Flash, between like just like we said, like how acid works. Just make it the same all the way around. It's just it's very frustrating. Uh, Especially we, we have just so many. We better should just get a vat out. of acid poured on them and be like, this is how it's supposed to work, yeah, you guys. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, speaking of uh, raging acid. about uh, characters, <laughs> uh, Bonnie brought up an ex. Oh my God, you are so adorable. So I cannot get enough of her. her. Um, so speaking of uh, character rages, uh, Bonnie brought up a really good point that we also, it's so frustrating because it's so close. You can just taste it. Why don't you, why don't you lead into it? Okay, so, uh, I mean, this is, this isn't spoilers for anyone who saw Force Awakens. Yeah. Uh, there were two characters in Force Awakens that, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I was shipping really hard. And, I mean, everyone was shipping it. Everybody. It's a meme. Uh, Finn and Poe. And I'm talking like, did you did you feel the sexual chemistry yes. Yes. pouring out of Poe when he saw Finn in that jacket? And like, he's like, no, it looks is good lip. on he's you. He's like, no, it looks good on you, boy. <laughs> Biting his lip, he's like, uh huh, you yeah. wear my leather. Yeah, you know, like, oh yeah. man, like there was just so much sexual tension going on there. And then so when the new movie came out uh, recently, I was so excited. I was like, oh, they're totally gonna, they're totally yeah. gonna hit this. And like they, like you know, they they showed them caring about each other or whatever, but. No, and barely shipping, shipping man. Just barely, shipping. barely, yeah. barely any bromance. Yeah. Just nothing. I was, I was like, okay, I, they need to, they need to be a couple. Uh, so it'd be such a great difference, especially because like so much of Force Awakens, like again, like I love Force Awakens, but it does, ha it does harken to the kind of the same storyline right. as A New Hope. So it'd be great if like instead of what you expect of like Finn and. Uh, uh, and uh, Ray getting together. Ray, right. yes. That you have no, Finn and no, Poe get together. They don't. They have no chemistry. No, they don't. No, and, and uh, as an LGBT ally, I would love to yes. see an openly gay yes. character in Star Wars. Yes. Like that should happen. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Well, and also like, Poe has uh, he has chemistry with literally everybody. I feel like I feel oh, like so his true. character is bisexual. <laughs> that, There's that no would, doubt in my God, mind. That would be great. Oh, I, I have like a feeling. Captain, it is. Oh yeah. my God, if he was like a Captain Jack Hartness oh, character, it's for, for, I would love that. So yeah, and for of you tuning in, for those of you who don't know, um, I'm in a band called The Library Bards. Yes. You can read my booze uh, <laughs> to find it on any social media at The Library Bards. And we just released a music video in December when the new Star Wars movie came out about how we ship Finn and Poe together. So go check that out. It's really it's funny. Really uh, we post the link. Yes. In oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Section. It's, we're yeah. really proud of yes. this music video. We, we went full out on the production value. I mean, BB-8 makes a cameo. We got, we got you know, X-Wings flying over. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> it, 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 it's great. We got, we got rainbow lasers. It's, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, Azim, <laughs> Azim from Power Rangers is our Poe. And Ify, who is oh, also, I love yeah, Ify. he's our Finn. If he's and the best. So it was it was a lot of fun. It was yeah. a great it was a great video to make. Yeah, and also Brandon Brandon brought up that he thought Finn was gonna end up with Rose. I I don't know about you guys, I feel uh, like that was super forced. Like, yeah, even, I, feel I like think Rose Finn was more of a fangirl. Yeah, yeah, I feel like Finn was even put upon by like I didn't yeah, like, I didn't oh, see this uh, coming. Like this was was this in the script? I didn't well I mean I also have some legit issues with that whole thing anyway, because I mean the whole backlash of Rose that's happening like it's just to me, um, it's something to take note of because apparently she wasn't attractive enough to be with him, which is why it was pulled out of theaters. No overseas. Yep. Yeah. 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 There's a I lot not of people like they're aging pretty. Yeah. Yeah. pretty. You cannot She's have not... a good actress. You can. They need her to be skinny and beautiful. See, this is what's the problem with Hollywood. I'm sorry. So when I first moved out here. 
uh, the whole thing with like, you know, getting an agent and all that stuff, they were either, okay, you need to either lose 30 pounds so we can uh, submit you for like an ingenue or you need to gain 50 pounds so you can be considered for the fat best friend. I'm like, what? I'm get, like a size your, 10? Together. Like, yeah. what, what, what do you mean? I'm like the, I'm like the average girl. And keep in mind though, this wasn't even America that was that way. No, that's just crazy that's to me like, that it's that's... all, like it's not based on talent anymore. Right. It's all yeah. based on looks, which is why Actually, I created right. two terrible. library bars. So, so yeah. we can start making how our do you own figure, yeah. How do you figure this is that, okay, you've got Scarlett Johansson doing extremely well overseas because they don't care that she's not Asian. Oh, right. And over here, it's like a whole whitewashing thing that we get in trouble with. Conversely, we have Rose, who we're all like, yeah, we love her. And then yeah. we go overseas and we're like, no, not no. skinny and pretty enough. But like, I just, yeah. like, the whole, it's so crazy. So yeah. frustrating. But you know what? It's extremely frustrating. the whole thing about the, like, the whole issue with Rose and Finn? Just have Finn and Poe together. Ah! Yeah. We solved it. You solved it. I think they should hire us. Yeah, right. We should write the next Star Wars movie. I'm, yes. I'm totally down for that. I, I got, I got ideas. I can see like I got ideas for days. Yeah. Like comments are coming. Yeah. Oh no. Did we get in trouble? <laughs> Brandon says spoilers. Um, <laughs> Joshua says, forget about beauty standards. If a girl was taking on corporate war uh, profiteers and galactic empires, she's a winner. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. She's a superstar. Yes. Uh, but here's, I mean, one of the main reasons why I do yeah. voiceovers. Uh, for like video games and anime and stuff exactly is the because same. they don't care what I look like. I show up in my pajamas, yeah. I don't have makeup, I look like I've had there's way so, too much to drink the night before. Yeah, there's they so don't care more, what I look like. There's so much more freedom, you yeah. know what I mean? Because you don't have to, yeah. because there's so many ridiculous beauty standards. And exactly. Like, and Brandon, I agree. She says, I thought Rose was very cute. She's a she's adorable. adorable. Yeah, I think she's adorable. I thought yeah. her little hair was all cute. Yeah. Oh, just the whole thing. And she was just so like energetic and so like. And I liked how she wasn't really skinny. I liked how she was I just like a, it. like she was just like an average girl, yeah, like an average one sized of us. woman, one of one of us. like <laughs> working an average job on the ship. Yeah. You know, like there's nothing like remotely special about her, which made her special, which yeah. I thought was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, back to the fin and toe thing. Like it would have just been such a but great, the, yeah. What if do it, do it? Like I, I'm feeling like there's yeah. a, a lot of fan fiction that we can all catch up on if we need. But it's just, it, it's just such a better story yep. in that, and like the yep. fact that like. Like, Poe's the one who gave him his name, technically. I know. It's F, oh, remember? Right. He, was, he was FN, da, 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 da. and he's like, yeah. uh, that's too much. How about Finn? Yeah, and, and then, I like that. whenever Xander and I sing the song live, uh, at the end of the song, we always go, from our mouths to Disney's ears. Yes. And we yes, try and put it out to the universe. It's like, come on, Disney, just to make it happen. They already made LeFou openly gay in yeah. Beauty and the Beast. I mean, what's, what's been involved? What's, what's so funny yeah. about that, speaking of that, like, the fact that the writer of the original movie was like, yeah, a dog was always gay. Yeah, a dog. Like, yeah. Obviously, he's yeah. obsessed. <laughs> um, so, actually, the, the issue that we were talking about, about, like, the, the beauty standards of women actually goes into our next subject that, oh. uh, that Bonnie brought up, and it's, oh. it, it's really... This it's, is getting me upset. It's this really, is really so, no, be, That's what this show is for. It's all okay. about being rage. All right, so we're Let talking me about... unleash the full rage yes. on this one. <laughs> all right, so you, you lead into it. Get ready, Okay. Get okay. ready. For all of you out there who are fans of Overwatch, which, I mean, Most who is it? Who is it? Yeah. It's a great game. Yeah. Uh, even if you don't really know how to play, it's just, I, I, you know, I'm fascinated by the, everything about it. Mm -hmm. So the eSports uh, Overwatch, they, you know, they've picked their teams. And, you know, looking at them, you're looking at them, and you're going, wow, that's a lot of penis. Yeah. Because you know why? No that's fans. a lot of penis. There's yep. not one female player chosen on the teams in, in the eSports. Not for Overwatch. One. Not one female. And some of the female players, in my opinion, are better than the boys. And uh, they, they're getting a lot of backlash from that. And, like, in an interview, one of the guys kind of panicked and was like, oh, it's because uh, co-ed rooms are, can be dangerous. And, oh, my gosh. Oh, my All God, right, you listen, guys. You are you grown guys. adults. These are grown-up people. You can keep it in your pants. Like, how? Just not only that. Well, I, don't, like, I don't even get, understand. I don't know. Just get, get another hotel room. Or, or just, yeah, get more than one female player and put them in a room together. Yeah, what? Seriously. Just the fact that that's uh, an excuse. And it's so uh, frustrating because it's uh, so great to have eSports a big thing. Like, the other night, it was actually the night that I ran into you uh, uh, at, what was that bar called in uh, Burbank? Guildhall. Guildhall. So, going into a bar that's an eSports bar, and there's so many more here in L.A. Shout out to Guildhall. Yeah, woo -woo. we love you guys. Yeah. Guildhall. It was awesome. But what's so great, because like I've never liked watching sports. I've never liked it. And I'm, I kind of get exhausted going to every single bar that I go to. It's just like nothing but TVs of sports, sports, sports. But then I walk in and now there's like eSports playing out. Yeah. It's great. Like, it's the best. 
But, um, <laughs> I know. Sorry, we're back. Yeah, we're back. Yeah. Um, so it, it's just, it's so great to have, like, these sports. But now it's like, guys, come fucking seriously. Like, get, get it together. Yeah. Like, get your ladies in there, because ladies are amazing gamers. Like, and there's no excuse, because, like, you can't even do, like, the usual sports analogy of, like, you know, you can't have female football players, because they're just not strong enough. But, but they're, they can be. No, but but seriously, uh, that just made me upset because there are so many women who play it and who play it professionally on a, on a level that you know is on the exact same level as some of these guys, and they just weren't even considered, and, it, and that just kind of really kicks me off. A little bit. And it's so <laughs> yeah. important. I mean, everything that happened with Gamergate a few years ago, and like we're starting to make so many great strides when it comes to female nerds and like all that kind of stuff. I mean, like also I have to say, like okay, there's like these issues that come up where a lot of conventions are having problem booking female uh, actresses and professionals yep. because of several reasons. Number one, they don't feel safe going to conventions saying they're harassed. Yeah. Okay? I mean, in all honesty, right. I, I, I doing cons by myself always makes me a little exactly. uncomfortable. Yeah. Like I, all, That's why I always have Xander with me. Right. And, you know, he's my gay wife. Yes, and my exactly. gay husband. <laughs> gay wife. My right. gay wife. But it's so nice to just have a, a male presence there because if something happens or it gets uncomfortable, I, I have someone there to be kind of like, hey, just to think if you're yeah. yeah. gay. Well, and also, like, we're just outnumbered. And, and yeah. it's, it has nothing to do with, like, um, you know, feeling comfortable or uncomfortable sometimes. It just has to do with, like, um, okay, you are slapped on a panel because you're the only female that's there and yeah. they need a female representation. Right. And, and so then they like, won't let you talk. And then, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, or they'll question you. And I don't mean, like, to make this against any convention. No, no. That's what we do. Because yeah. we run, we like, run those kind of I do yeah. right. 24 cons a year. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. So there's not, yeah. like, it's, it's not against <laughs> anything. It's, like, simply a culture. Yeah. Or a culture. Oh, God. It's a culture that just needs to shift. Yeah. That's all. And we're, yeah. everyone's doing their best. It's nothing against anyone. Yeah. Like like con, con organizers especially are doing their best. Like, but yeah. it's it's definitely a problem. It's in the it's in, in the, the culture yeah, as well. Culture. But yeah. we're moving in the right direction. Yes, However, it are. is you know it's uh, you know speaking of bringing up the nerve rage and, and going jumping off of that, uh, it's so frustrating being a girl. And uh, it's just frustrating being a girl in general, yeah. you know. You, you, we're it's bleeding. Just, it's just, it's we got weights on our like, chest. You guys don't know. Makeup and hair every oh day. Oh my god! It's, it's just a constant. It's it's a pain. But what really <laughs> frustrates me in, in the the nerd world is always getting labeled as that fake geek girl. When you know, it's just so. Mine that I get all the time is, well, you don't look like a geek. What am I supposed to look yeah, like? Yeah. What do we look like? What, what do I look like? Uh, well, well, no, because it's, it's one of those things. I walk into a comic book store. And uh, immediately they're like, oh, are you buying something for your boyfriend? Or are you buying something for, you know, a guy? And I'm like, no. No. In fact, I probably know more about this comic than you do. Do you want to quiz me on it? Because I know that's coming up next. Yeah. I'm you know? sorry to bring up yeah. a specific comic book story <laughs> that really, them. really got, got under my skin. Because I love, I love, obviously, I love going to comic books. But there's one comic book store that got under my skin here in Hollywood. That was Meltdown. Meltdown Comics. I was going there for an event. And I was, I was wearing, like, my suit. Like, yeah. I didn't have a nerd shirt on anything. But I was wearing my suit. And I go in there, and I was specifically looking for, uh, the, it was like the latest Saga comic, and like one other thing. Like I had a specific list that I was looking for before this event. And so this guy starts, and he's just like, oh, well, this is like the, well, well it's, the, it's the book that just came out. I was like, yeah, so shouldn't you have a lot of it if it just came out this week? He's like, oh, no, we sold out of it. But it so if you like this, you like that? I was like, no, yeah, I have, I have a, like everything they mentioned, I kept saying, like, no, I, I, I have got that. that one. Like, yeah. No, I literally just need this one. They're like, oh, really? Oh, do you know the well, blood type know, of... Yeah, do you know uh, this episode of this and that? And I'm like, oh, do you... Or I'm like, oh, that. can you speak yeah. Klingon? And then I just look at them and go, nuke neck, and it, kapla, yeah, right? shaka bonnet, nush. And they're right? like, oh, shit. I'm like, yeah. Or, you want to go there? Or they, like, go there? or they nitpick until they find something you don't know. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. like I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. And this one person was like, well, do you remember this one thing? It was just 
just like, okay, A, it wasn't canon, so no, I don't, but teach me. Like, that's yeah, the thing. Is that, yeah. like, tell me about that one thing. Don't be like, well, you're not a geek because you didn't know that very specific detail. Well, and here's the thing. There should things. be no label. Like, here's the thing. If, if we were guys, we would not get quizzed this way. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, if we were just going up, they're like, oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of this. And I'm like, okay, cool, we have this, this, and that. But because we're girls, we go up, like, oh, I'm a big fan of this. They're like, oh, really? Well, I, I don't know. You might want, like, this better because it's, yeah. cause it's, you know, a pony. We're like, no, no, no. I'm a fan of this. <laughs> yeah. The pony's great. But, you know, so it's 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 yeah. it's a constant battle. It really is. Yeah. It is. That, that and the messages of, like, you know, nice titch. You know, like... No, I'm not messaging inbox. you about your pets, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, no, cool. Yeah, maybe we should start. Sorry, am I just like should. rambling about every topic? No, no, I'm no. just like, oh, no. and then there's this. Well, that's what's great about it. My coffee's kicking in. in. Yeah, Whoa. right. Woo. Oh, yeah, my pain meds are in, and it's awesome. I'm sorry, um, I swear I'm not an angry lady. I promise, guys. Well, no, that's, that's, <laughs> not, that's what's great about this, because, like, as most people see me on online, I'm very, like, I love everything. Everything's great. That's the way I am. But that's what makes it so much more important for us to be able to rage. Yeah. This is when I get to hulk out a little bit. I am nicer on this show than I am in person. No, you're not. No, no, no. I'm always nice. She doesn't dye hair. This is just the red of her rage. This is my anger. just the dye that gets her hair like this red. Yeah. Honestly, we've been having a great time at Anime Fan Fest. I want to, or sorry, Anime Los Angeles. We're just, we want to nerd rave about them like this has been a great event oh uh, yeah it's, it's a great show super great Definitely. that's going to be our rave uh, today the fans have been lovely i've gotten a few uh, fans of drug multi light on hope coming up and being really excited and you, you guys come over here yeah yeah, yeah. Booth 101. yeah booth 101 i'm here all day today and all day tomorrow we're here, so we're here promoting the show that's happening here in may yes Yes. So we're taking Which over. we're going to be at too. The yes. Yes. It's yes. going to be fantastic. It's so excited. Yes. This is Com like Comic Con Revolution. <laughs> I cannot rave about it more because it's it's a show that like because we've been working in, and making shows happen for like four years now, and I've never been to a show that absolutely every single person, whether they work it, whether they're a guest, the exhibitor, whether they're a, a attendee. Had such a good time. Everyone, the, the vibe. Yes. Like the energy is so positive at these shows. It's it's really and, fun. And, it's and just fun. Inland Empire has been lovely. Everybody's been so nice. So for the uh, for the Comic Con, uh, Comic Con Revolution people that might have just tuned in, I unfortunately got uh, rear-ended on the way here yesterday, 7:45 in the morning. Uh, went to the urgent care, got all drugged up, got this sweet thing, had people signing it, and everybody's been so sweet. Like, everybody's been so nice about it. And speaking of. We need you guys. You guys need to sign my. Yes. I've been having like friends come up, so. Uh, okay. Uh, I need this for yes, that. Yes. Yes. Because I need to do this. I have. I need. Oh, you have something that you're gonna. Yeah. Yes. So you can find a spot. Just sign. I, sign I want to be really mean. <laughs> do it. Sign it right there. <laughs> oh no. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what I was gonna take that spot. Yeah. yeah it. Too, it. too slow. Oh no, but it was gonna be really funny. The plus five charisma. Oh, <gasps> all right. You do that. Yeah. Because okay. uh, <laughs> that's, that's funny and it deserves to be. All right. Fun plus right five charisma. Yeah. Charisma. <laughs> you do so, yeah. it under the air. Um, yeah. So for those that don't know, Comic Con Revolution <laughs> is uh, going to be May. I can't even see the sign from here. What May nineteenth and twentieth. Yes. It says it right there mm -hmm. next to us. This is really hard. Right. right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be right here in Ontario. Yes. Inland Empire, for those of you not uh, in Canada. It's hard to read because it bleeds. Yeah. You got it? It looks yeah, it's Okay. All right. All right, where are you signing? Because you're going to sign another spot then. Oh, I got to sign my name. Yeah, it, it, the, the ink bleeds, so you can't yeah. really read it. But. I still love it. It's a tre cherished memory. I it says it. plus five charisma. Yeah, so basically we have the option of either A, me wearing a scarf, or B, me just accepting uh, my fate of wearing this ridiculous thing all weekend <laughs> and having people sign it. <laughs> oh, man, this is fun. Yeah, so you having fun? For all the people that are actually here at Anime Los Angeles or that are planning on coming, um, can I plug my panel? Oh, yes, okay. yes. At plug 6 o'clock tonight, I have a voiceover 101 panel, which is uh, how to get started in voiceover with Sandra Jean Ray and myself mm -hmm. hosting that. Tomorrow at 11.30, Xander and I are doing a full Library Bards concert, so we have a whole hour. We're going to be doing most of our music. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. If, if, for those of you who don't know, we're a nerd parody band, so we take songs off the radio and make them to be about Star Wars, Star Trek, video games, anime, you name it, we're singing about it. Harry Potter. 
And yes. then uh, and then we have another panel at 3 o'clock, which is behind the scenes of a nerdy reality show. Because Xander was on TBS's King of the Nerds, mm -hmm. and I was on a show called The Quest on ABC. And so we're going to be talking about all the, like, what it was like being on a reality show that was kind of, like, in the nerd world. Uh, and, like, just, like, the behind the scenes stuff that happened and what it was like being part of that kind of production. So if you guys are uh, here, come yeah. check it out. And if people are not here, how do they find you? Where do they follow you? Oh, man. They can, you can follow me at Bonnie Bell G all over Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. And the Library Bards at Library Bards. Yay. And we're all over social media. We travel all over the country to Comic-Cons and events. And uh, we release new music videos all the time. You can also find me on Geek and Sundry. I'm on the new yes. Star Trek RPG show, awesome. Shield of Tomorrow, which is awesome. So nice. yeah, there goes my that's, that's my Star Trek cred. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah I'm a Bajoran. Yeah. Let's go. What's the What's the next con you guys are gonna be at as well? Oh gosh, um, that's a great question. I know our next one out of town is in Virginia, MistyCon. It's a fantasy sci-fi convention in Virginia, and then we also have one. Uh, we have something coming up in March, uh, MarsCon in Minneapolis, awesome. as well as. Um, Oh yeah, we have a whole bunch. Uh, yeah, follow like us on said, social media. We have a yeah, we did 24 year. cons last year. Yeah. Right. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? We'll get our record this year. We we love her and Xander so much. Oh. We only see each other like while at we're cons. working. It's yeah. so funny. We're like we should hang out. At, not when we're not at a con. No, it's not happening. There's no time that we're not. Um, and for our Comic Con Revolution people that are watching, uh, we are Geek Sheet Promotions. You can follow us all over the internet at Geek Sheet. We do this show, uh, Nerd Rage, plus a Tuesday, Tuesday, and we update. Uh, with different videos, that kind of stuff. We're going to start doing more um, live from conventions as well. Yes. So we actually, we're hitting the season, guys. Yes. We're so in season. February we're gonna, we're 24th have, yeah. is the Comic Con Revolution in West Palm Beach. It's going to be their first year down there. We're what? super excited. We're going to have um, a Nerd Rage panel with yeah. us. And with it's Rock. Yes. Yeah. In Florida, West Palm Florida. Beach. Yeah. What? Wait, yeah, I don't want to go. go? Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Do it. Let's get her down there. We're she dying. Nerd Rage. Down. At 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. on a panel with, with Paul, Paul Jenkins. Jenkins. So we're gonna be nerd raging yes. about uh, oh. the Wolverine Origins movie. Yes. It's time to rage. It's time. Yes. It's time. Unleash that rage. Yeah. So we're gonna do that uh, live from uh, from the actual yes. panel. So it's gonna be an extra That's long fantastic. one because panels are usually 50 minutes long. So yes. it's gonna be super fun. Uh, and after that, we're planning on being at. Um, uh, WonderCon, WonderCon. Uh, we should be doing yes. a panel there as well uh, we'll with be Mark at Wade. Yeah, talking about uh, different iterations of Superman and our favorites and our least favorites, uh, different live action iterations of Superman. So stoked! And then we'll be back here for Comic Con Revolution. Yep, uh, May nineteenth and twentieth. So, guys, thank you so much for uh, nerd raging with us and hanging out. So, uh, we're gonna be here if you're around. We're gonna Stop be here all by. weekend. Say hello. Weekend party and all that kind of stuff. So. Yes. Thank you again, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.